Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this quick tutorial, I'll be showing you two possible ways to fully restore your Windows 10 back to the default factory settings without using any installation disks. This is as good as installing a fresh copy of Windows 10 to your computer, whether laptop or desktop. Now, this can help resolve a number of issues you might be having, like Windows being too slow, malware and viruses, or you are running out of storage space even though you haven't saved any big files to your PC. Blue screen error, black screen error, and a bunch of issues like that. This approach would work for any Windows 10 build you may have. Here I'm using the latest build which is the 1903. You might notice a bit of differences in the placement of the options in the older builds, but the general approach is pretty much the same. And now without further ado, let's jump right into it. So for the first method, from the start menu, click on the gear icon to open your Windows settings. On the settings page, click on update and security. Then here click on recovery. Under recovery, you have reset this PC. Here click on get started. And then you should see these two options, keep my files or remove everything. The keep my files option allows you to keep your personal files like photos, music, video, word files and PDF documents after the reset process, but will delete your applications and settings. This could be an option of choice if the problem you encounter comes from one or more applications and maybe after uninstalling such apps the problem still persists. Then using this option you get to remove all apps without losing your files. If you choose to go with this option, remember to back up your other software licenses. To do that I would recommend using the Bellac Advisor app, it's completely free and provides you a record of all your software licenses including your Windows license. I will leave a link to a short tutorial I made on how to use this tool down in the video description. The second option here is to remove everything. Of course, this will completely remove everything from your PC, leaving you a new copy of Windows 10. Now, before using this option, again, remember to back up your files and save your software licenses. This option is more likely to fix most of the problems you may be having with your Windows 10, simply because it removes everything. So whether the malfunctioning is coming from a corrupt file or from a corrupt application, this option will fix both problems. So let's say I go with this remove everything option. Here, if you have more than one drive attached to your PC, it will ask if you want to remove all files from all drives. Again, this is up for you to decide, but if you completely need nothing from all your drives or you have backed up all your needed files, then you can go with the all drives option. If not, then selecting the drive with your Windows will be the alternative. Next, you will see another page with additional settings. Here, the default option is to just remove your files. This option allows the resetting process to delete your files. However, it does not override the memory locations on your disk where the files were stored. So it will be relatively easy for anyone with data recovery applications to recover back those files. Now, this should be okay if you plan to keep using the PC after resetting. In addition to still being able to recover the deleted files, it also takes less time to complete the resetting process with this option. However, if you plan to give away or sell your PC, then removing files and cleaning the drive too could be a better option. This will take some more time, but using it ensures the deleted files are not easily recoverable after resetting by overriding the memory locations where the files were stored. To delete files and clean drive, click on change settings here. Now on the older Windows 10 builds, you will just have these two options here. One says just remove my files and the other says remove files and clean the drive. So you can just click on the option you prefer. But here we have to click on this change settings and then it gives you the option of data erasure. Here you can just flip this switch to turn on data erasure. Then click on confirm to proceed. Here hit next. And then depending on when you upgraded to Windows 10, it could warn you that this PC was recently upgraded to Windows 10 and that you won't be able to undo or go back to previous versions of Windows if you use this option. Now here I don't mind so I'll hit next. Then it again reminds me that resetting will remove personal files, user accounts, apps, programs and settings. I will click reset. And from here the reset process will begin. This process will take quite a while depending on your configurations and the options you've chosen. Ensure your PC is powered on the entire time and just be patient and wait for the process to complete. The second method is pretty similar to the first except that this time we'll be going through the power options. For that, go to your start menu and click on the power icon. Then hold down the shift key and click on the restart option. Keep holding down the shift key until you see a blue screen with different options. 
Now on this screen, click on Troubleshoot. Then reset this PC. And then it takes you back to this page where you get to choose whether to keep your files or to remove everything. So here again, I will choose remove everything. And then on the next page, it asks if you just want to remove your files or if you want to fully clean the drive. Again, here, just like in the first method, it's up for you to decide. So choose the option that suits your needs and proceed with the rest of the process as shown in the first method. And that is it for this tutorial. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Share with anyone you think might want to see. Drop us a comment if you have any questions or feedbacks. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for updates on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.